okay, my um, my SD card just was full, so I have to repeat that again. Now we are wanted to measure the output voltage of the um, LED, and we are again at 50 microseconds. We have about um, three diffs. Um, is one waveform. One, two, three diffs is one uh, waveform, one square waveform here. So we have 150 microseconds um, is the um, uh, the time for one uh, one waveform, and so this is about 6.6 uh, kilohertz frequency. And now we are on the um, one volt settings. It's a 10 millivolts times 100 because the scope pad is a 100 divider scope head and uh, let's see we have one two three four five five volts is the peaks here um, amplitude and um, if we fold this now graphically this um, we fold it now over so we have a DC level about um, so we can calculate the DC voltage and the DC current we uh, measured before on the shunt um, so we uh, we put this here over these two things over here and then we have about one diff uh, of a constant voltage so to say this is just a graphical interpolation it's, it's, it's a known method to to calculate the, the the graphical surface area below the waveform, so we um, use you know, the graphical interpolation to calculate the DC level. So we have a one about one diff, and one diff means about one volt uh, average at the at the LED here as a voltage. Now. Um, so we can calculate now um, the output power again. Okay, uh, let's see if we can see that. Then we have about one volt times well, um, 10 milliamps, about it's just 10 milliwatts. Yeah. And the input power was. Uh, 25 milliwatts so no over unity Mr. Zoing sorry I spelled your uh, name wrong Lawrence Zoing and T.S. Lau did try to measure this uh, I don't know what they did differently but maybe their scope heads were not calibrated or something like this but my scope clearly shows um, this surface is not over unity we have about ah, okay I'm I'm still here in the yeah because of my too big divider scope head um, so I just wanted to show you that it's also calibrated I don't know did I already show you that in the F2 Switch on the okay now we have DC level I put it in the center and there you go again what so Okay, now so you can see it's already calibrated and it's um, yeah, it's 200 millivolts. I just show it again on this on this uh, settings. Um, okay, the voltage. 
Okay, this is now again the output um, output current spikes. You can see that it's much lower. Yeah, I'll show you the test points again. Yeah. Okay, that's the output current. This is the output shunt here. One ohm shunt, and this is the test points across the output shunt. And I show you the input shunt is this one here, this one, one ohm. And if I go, um, let's see. Okay. Now we can see the input current, the area below the input current waveform is much bigger. So and as the voltage are similar, the average voltage is okay. The, the battery voltage is now the input battery voltage is 1.26 volts. Hope you can see that. And the output voltage interpolated was about 1 volt. So this is um, not over unity. Input power 25 milliwatts, output power probably below 10 milliwatts. And yeah, okay, for 10 milliwatts, the LED is pretty bright, but what it, uh, it depends. LEDs are very um, efficient these days. Okay. That's for now, and I hope um, I'm a little bit correct with my measurements, although I only have this 100, um, 100 um, divider, 100 times divider scope head. Okay, this is it for now. I'm signing off, Stefan Hartmann.